In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up any router model of the Asus brand. I'll guide you through both smartphone application setup and old school browser setup methods. So let's go get into it. First off, you want to wire up your router with your internet source. To do this, use the WAN port on the back panel of the router. It's located separately from the other ports. So plug in the Ethernet cable into the WAN port and make sure that the other end of this cable is connected with your internet source. Whatever you use, DSL, cable modem, ONT, you need to make sure that your internet works properly, everything is up and running. And of course, uh, power up your router, uh, make sure this switcher is toggled on. And now you have to wait for uh, the internet signal and 2.5, 4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz signals uh, to be turned on. It takes about 30 seconds, maybe 45, but be patient, just wait here. And once all necessary signals are turned on, you can put your router aside and take your smartphone. Uh, what you need here, here you need to install the Asus router application, then open this application, agree to the terms and conditions, you have to scroll to the bottom here, and check this box, you're above of the age of 16, once again scroll to the bottom and agree. Uh, okay, and now we are on the welcome page, uh, here you want to tap on setup, tap on the rotors category, allow the location permission, okay, while using the app. And the easiest way to set up the rotor is to enable camera and scan the QR code on the bottom of your rotor. So allow the camera access and scan this QR code. Try different distances. That's it. And tap on OK here. Now you are prompted to enter your wireless settings and connect to the ASUS network. Let's do this. So open wireless settings, uh, connect to ASUS network. Now you see your router's model and uh, let's get started. Detecting your internet connect connection status. If there is a special requirement from your ISP to assure your authorized internet with VLAN tag and IPTV streaming, please check this ISP profile. Uh, I don't have the special requirements. Now you need to create your uh, Wi-Fi network name and password. Also, you can here you can separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band in some reason. If you want to do this, you can do it right here, but I'm okay with the unified network. Of course, you can create a stronger password. I'm just do it to show you how it works. The Wi-Fi key is too weak. Okay, for now. So now uh, set up local login account, and username and password to manage the router's settings. Later, you can use it uh, to access the settings from other gadgets or from web browser and so on. So write down this password, do not forget it, because if you forget this password, you have to uh, reset your router to the factory settings and set up from scratch. Oh, you can't go too simple here, you need at least one digit. So setting up the network, here you have to wait for a while, not too long. And one more waiting screen, uh, reactivate network. It takes a few minutes to complete the process. So it actually taken uh, about three minutes. Now you can save your new network to your phone and let's go to the Wi-Fi settings and try to connect to new network. Oh, it's already connected automatically. It's good. Let's go back to the application. Uh, some network optimization, once again need to wait. 
so now it says we have a good connection and this is the summary uh, page uh, you can see your network name and password and your uh, admin credentials here so just tap on finish and this is your asus router application home screen uh, where you can control your uh, home wi-fi enable first you want maybe you want to enable remote connection to do this you will be required to create or log in to your asus account i'm going to skip this for now now quick application overview not diving deep into the function because this is not a focus of this video so if you are confused by this futuristic design you can change it tapping on this burger icon and go to uh, theme select for example simplicity white it's much more convenient to me uh, here you can see real-time traffic you can swipe left or right to switch between uh, different control windows uh, tap on the wi-fi icon and you can change your network name and uh, password here uh, then you can tap on the device devices tab and see who is connected to your network and allow or deny the access uh, some insights from asus what you are recommended to do uh, family settings and general settings here you have a lot of options this is a pretty powerful application but if you uh, want to have a really full control you need to access the admin panel from the web browser so now uh, let me show you how to connect your router via web browser uh, on your desktop or or even mobile web browser so first you need to connect the gadget you're running to the asus wi-fi network so go to your wi-fi settings find the asus network there connect and once connected open any web browser and in the search bar type the following ip address 192.168.50.1 it takes you to the router's welcome screen to the welcome screen of the admin console uh, here you can create a new network you don't need advanced settings so far just click here uh, select if you have a special requirement from isp or or you don't have uh, and here type in the network name you wish to use later create the password you can separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as an application but i don't want to do it let's just apply new password and create the admin passwords don't forget to write down the admin password because it's even more important than wi-fi password using the admin password you can reset wi-fi post password anytime if you forget this one you will have to restart router and set up it from scratch so once you see this summary uh, screen you can go to the wi-fi settings and try to connect to your a new network you don't need this asus network in, anymore it will disappear soon so you need to find your newly created network if you don't see it in some reason try to restart your wi-fi here it is asus home click on connect and enter your password click on next don't save what's up it's connected and now you're instantly uh, taken to the control panel so uh, later if you wish to access to this panel you have to enter 192.168.50.1 in the search bar and it will take you here but uh, don't forget that you have to uh, enter your password to access the settings uh, let's try uh, so from this panel 
you have even more control than from the ASUS application. For example, you have an access to the system log and you can clear cache and you can clear the router's history uh, from here. And I think here you have some more settings. Uh, if you can find some settings in the ASUS application and these settings are exist, you can find uh, them here. For now guys, you're all set. Hope this was helpful. If yes, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye guys.